What is the slope of the tangent line through a point, the point two comma one in this case, on some complicated curve? Now the way your teacher probably wants you to do this is with something called implicit differentiation, which is using the fact that while well, the chain rule exists and that y has a derivative that you can call either dy by dx or y prime. I'm going to write it as dy by dx in this case, but that's just a formatting thing. We are looking to get the rate of change or slope of the tangent at that point. We need to find an equation for the slope of this curve. The slope is dy by dx, but we're going to have to take the derivative of this in order to solve for dy by dx. x squared, y squared is a product. We're going to have to use the product rule there. The product rule is the derivative of this first thing. The derivative of x squared is 2x times the second thing as is plus, and then you take the first thing as is times the derivative of the second thing. The derivative of y squared is 2y times the derivative of what's on the inside here which I'm going to call dy by dx, just so you can visually see that that's what we're going to solve for in the end. This is the derivative of just that chunk. Now, 5xy is also a product. You have the x, and it's being multiplied by the y. So, derivative of the first thing, 5x, times the second thing as is, now the first thing as is times derivative of the second thing, the derivative of y is dy by dx. Now we're gonna copy the equal sign, the derivative of a constant is zero. So this is the derivative of that. The slope of the tangent is dy by dx whenever we plug this two in for x and one in for y. Now you have two options here. One is to just straight up uh, replace all the x's and y's that aren't dy by dx in this equation. I'll do that right now. That's 2 times x times y squared. See how the x's are now 2's and the y's are now 1's. Plus x squared times 2y, but this one has a dy by dx plus 5y plus 5x dy by dx equals 0. You can probably see that the only variable we have left is dy by dx. It's what we're going to solve for here. 2 times 2 times 1 is 4. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 here. That's 8 dy by dx's plus 5 plus 10 dy by dx is equal 0. Just going to move stuff to the other side here. 8 and 10 make 18 dy by dx is. Minus 5 minus 4 is negative 9 on the other side. If you solve for dy by dx, you get a slope of negative 9 over 18, which is negative a half. You're done. The slope of the tangent at that point is negative a half. And to be completely honest, it kind of looks like it if I was going to draw a line that just barely grazed the curve at that point, it's kind of going down into the right, so it's negative. Like, the slope is negative, I mean. And it's kind of shallow, like it's not a deep curve, it's, it's not a steep line. So I kind of expected it to be some small fraction. But what you may have wanted to do is to isolate for dy by dx in that equation itself. What I'm going to do is move all of the things that don't have dy by dx to the other side of the equal sign here. The x squared, well actually that's 2x squared y times dy by dx, and the plus 5x dy by dx stay on the left. This 2xy squared will move to the other side and the 5y will also move to the other side. And to get dy by dx alone here, we're going to factor it out. dy by dx could be multiplied by 2x squared y plus 5x in order to give us that original. You might see where this is going already. 
in order to isolate dy by dx here, you can just divide both sides by whatever it was multiplied by here. Negative 2xy squared minus 5y. And then you divide the whole thing by this. That's 2x squared y plus 5x. Then if you wanted the slope at literally any other xy point here, you could just plug those x's and y's into this equation itself. Trust me when I say that when you do that, you're going to end up with negative 9 on top. Or maybe, no, it'll be negative 9 on top and positive 18 on bottom. And you'll end up with this negative 1 over 2 as your answer here. But maybe you wanted it, uh, the slope of the tangent here as well, and here as well, and here as well. And if you have to do it repeatedly, maybe you just want a single formula you can plug x's and y's into. That's the one right there. Yeah, I know I could have factored that a little more, but it's not what the question asked for. It said find the slope of the tangent, and we did. What more does your teacher want from you, huh? All right, best of luck.